So the truth about why I don't buy into alpha investment games, and when I mean alpha investment games, I mean the ones that he promotes on his channel like MetaZoo. So any game where there's a card or multiple cards of alpha investments and, and he's always making videos about, oh, look at how much money Flesh and Blood is making, look at MetaZoo. I simply don't have the capital or patience to invest in more than one or two games. Like gaming is very expensive. These boxes are not cheap. Um, and beyond the top three, which I would call Pokemon, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh in that exact order, uh, I would put Pokemon one and Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh. That's exactly how I would invest. Uh, I would not invest in anything else. And that's for me. I, again, this is more like, you know, what type of investor are you? Are you going to invest in blue chips, the S&P 500? Or are you going to invest in penny stocks? You can make money from penny stocks. There is no question that people have made money from GameStop and AMC and all these, you know, meme stocks, right? But that's not for me. I would never invest in a meme stock. I would put money in the S&P 500 because I'm in it for the long term. I'm not trying to uh, quick flip a profit. So the reason that I have and this is, you know, this is not like an issue of the games. I think a lot of times, you know, people say it's not for me. And then the criticisms I lay out, I mean, it might be for you. I think the artwork and MetaZoo is, and the idea of cryptids is as an IP attorney, there's no patentable, there's no trademarks. There's no, you cannot trademark. What's the, what's their main character's name? Like, um, what was that one character's name? I already forgot it. It's like a bird. Mothman, no Mothman, right? Mothman, before they came out with the Mothman car, there were probably 50 different documentaries on Mothman on Amazon Prime. I've seen probably half of them. They're incredibly bad, right? And then same with Bigfoot. How many documentaries on Bigfoot? How many, I mean, Mother Effing, the Discovery Channel <laughs> alone, you could probably watch a, uh, a documentary or some type of series about Bigfoot and the Discovery Channel for the next 10 years straight. Just watch them all. Um, this is, in my opinion, not very creative and the artwork is not for me, right? There's not really a waifu artwork. There's really, I mean, the creatures are kind of weird looking. Um, as an artist myself, and yeah, we have an art studio. I don't think this is high quality. This is my opinion. But you're entitled to your opinion. You might think, oh, the cryptids are very creative. I've never seen this before. Uh, this art, you know, this gets me involved more in cryptids. I'm really into cryptids, uh, generally speaking. Um, but it's not for me. It's not for me, right? And as we, as things get more expensive in life, and as you grow up, you realize a lot of stuff is not for you. Um, you can't buy it all. Um, and in fact, you know, it, that's actually a very bad financial thing. Um, so. If you're buying something you don't understand, you're going to put capital at risk. This is not, it is not smart to buy something that you're not going to play the game. You're just buying as an investment because somebody told you, you don't actually know very much about it. It is a bad idea uh, to put money um, into something where you're not passionate about it, especially as a hobby. You can just put an S&P 500 and see what happens. S&P 500, I think went up 17% in this quarter. Ta-da! I mean, God, you know, like I mean, and then you could get if you, if you don't like the S and P five, you put it in CD is like four or five percent right now. But then that's guaranteed. That's FDIC insured, right? Now, when you talk about like flesh and blood, you know, I just really don't have the capacity to play be, or collect or buy, invest beyond just two games. Um, I tried to do that. I did it with Inuyasha. I did a Fire Emblem Cipher. You know, I'm not buying no more Fire Emblem Cipher. I just, I have probably the largest collection in America and that was that. Nobody's posted a bigger collection and my collection is like 25 times the size of the next collection on YouTube. Okay, <laughs> mission accomplished. Um, no more uh, FedEx dudes stealing my boxes from Japan. So uh, same with anime figures and stuff. You know, like I have hobbies, obviously Pokemon, magic, anime figures, and these hobbies are all ridiculously expensive. I just personally cannot add another card game to the repertoire of hobbies. And if I were to add a card game, I have a massive Yu-Gi-Oh collection that I still don't really know. I bought it during the pandemic, so it's probably have lost critical amounts of money. 
Uh, but it's a beautiful collection. It's like, you know, it's a collection I always wanted as a child. Uh, and some of the cards are really valuable. I mean, I paid thousands, maybe even $10,000 $10, for that, for multiple collections. And it's, it's nice, it's a, you know, I've shown it on camera. Once uh, you can watch, uh, you can. I mean, there's not that many Yu-Gi-Oh videos on this channel. So that's where I am. Yeah, it's not an offense to like Rudy Chan or anything like that or MetaZoo people. And you know, I, I know they have their own little niches and so on. But my God, you cannot collect it all. You cannot collect it all. So at some point you have to draw a line and say, you know, for me, it's anime figures, it's magic. I, Inuyasha, for instance, I want to collect the crap out of that. But I already, I spent so much money on those uncut sheets and then the first edition to Saigai, uh, sealed. So like, so I, during the pandemic boom, I was collecting Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, uh, Weiss, Swords, I collected a bunch of that. I still have tons of that. Funkos, uh, basically you were collecting everything you could, right? Because PPP loan money, right? I didn't take any PPP loan money, but I'm just saying that I made a lot of money from my clients who did take PPP loan money. So I definitely was a secondary benefit of uh, those clients. Man, that's crazy, man. So I think about the time, like a few years ago, where I was just buying sports cards, and you know, I was buying um, Funkos, I was buying Inuyasha uncut sheets and first edition boxes. I was buying, I mean, I mean, if you had anything to sell me, I'd be like, all right, I'm in. <laughs> it's so stupid. I regret that time period because I could have just focused on magic or Pokemon or my anime, anime figures, right? Instead of, you know, just um, buying every new game that comes out. Um, now, people will say One Piece. Are you into One Piece? I bought into it. Um, I may not buy more into it. That's all I have to say is I think the game is interesting. But again, like I said, for the time being, I'm going to focus on Magic, Pokemon, and anime figures. These are three categories that I know the best. I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh all that well. I don't know sports card all that well, but I put money behind it and I've lost a lot of money. Um, so if you don't know MetaZoo, you don't know Flesh and Blood, but Rudy says buy, 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 don't buy. Buy stuff that you do know, that you think that you, know, that you will play and enjoy. Because at the end of the day, it will all go down to zero, right, when you die. So then you get the enjoyment from owning it. I don't know, did you? Hi guys. <laughs>